Good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, bienvenidos to another weekly Wednesday webinar. Uh, I guess it's the last webinar of November, you know? So, wow, I can't believe it that we're already here. We're almost ready to close uh, season two, but we're so excited that we have, have so many experiences with you, a lot of meaningful conversations, a lot of meaningful calls after the webinars. So thank you for your support all this year. My name is Eddie Villanueva. I'm part of the marketing department. In case you don't know my title, I'm the member engagement specialist. And it's such a blessing to work with this panelist team and the credit union as well. Please relax, get a drink, get your dinner, and then be ready to have a lot of knowledge this evening. We're going to have a lot of surprises. And then we're going to study the topic of click with confidence, safeguarding your online holiday shopping. As we know, holiday shopping, some people are prepared for it, over-prepared, or some people are living the last minute. But we want to make sure that you have all the tips to be ready for your online shop. I know Andrea, she already started her shopping. So kudos to you, Andrea. I, I give you props because I still need, need to get on that. Uh, I've Kim, Kim, it's, it's, it's holiday shopping for, for, for Kim, like 24-7, 365 days a year, you know, but... Once again, thank you very much for being here with us. Please relax. And a reminder, uh, please, if you want to come off mute, you can send us a comment and you can, you know, come off mute. We can also read your questions if you're using that Q&A feature or the chat. And then, Carrie, what is the commitment with all of the questions every week? That we'll stay till midnight answering them all. So send them in. <laughs> if we have to stay until midnight, we will. I don't know if the attendees would like to stay until midnight, but if that's your desire, we'll do that. But as <laughs> Kerry was saying, we will read all of the questions live after the presentation. So whether you have questions related to the topic that we're going over this evening, or is if it's something related to the credit union, we'll be glad to answer those for you. Melton has a lot of banking experience. Kim has a lot of banking experience. Carrie has a lot of banking experience. And Andrea, she's learning with us as well. So please, please make sure that you take advantage of all the wisdom and the experience that we have in this panelist team. 602, Ms. Kim Fridley, I will pass the mic to you. Thank you so much, Eddie. I just want to clarify one thing. So a couple of weeks ago, we had a webinar, Is Your Financial House in Order? And I took a lot away from that. I did a budget, so I'm no longer spending 24-7 like Eddie just said. So if you haven't seen that webinar, go and look for it. You can go to our website. The very last tab is Best Life. Go to Recorded Webinars. Look up, is your financial house in order? It will change your life. It'll change your house. Um, so anyways, we're going to get started. Eddie, thank you so much for introducing yourself. I am Kim Fridley, Membership Development Analyst. I work directly with the presenter this evening. He says I'm his right and left hand, but he's actually mine. Um, and Carrie Lazar, you know who Carrie is. She's our expert content creator. She's in our marketing department, and uh, she brings um, so much um knowledge and marketing expertise to this credit union. So we're very happy to have her with us. And Andrea is also in our marketing department and she is also an asset to our organization. So um, don't forget Q&A. You can put your uh, questions in there. You can put them in the chat. Let's interact. Let's have fun. Let's click with confidence this holiday season. And Milton, brother, take it away. All right, Kim, thank you so much. And Eddie and everyone else, uh, thank you all for being with us uh, this wonderful evening. It is one week before Thanksgiving, so can't believe it. It's uh, the holiday season. It's around the corner, and um, we hope you're ready. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot going on during during this time of year, and uh, again, uh, you know, we 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 got this 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 particular webinar. We did it with the intention to get everyone ready, um, and most important, you know, like uh, shop with confidence. Uh, well, not shop, but clip with confidence. Um, and uh, and we're gonna talk about you know uh, all the different uh, uh, type of uh, scams. Uh, what are some of the tactics that these criminals are using? 
um, and uh, and in ways how you can protect yourself. And if you become a victim, you know how you can go about getting everything resolved. But again, uh, we want to thank you for making time out of your busy, busy, uh, busy schedules. And we always love to have you here. And as we we say that every every Wednesday, you know, um, please make sure you spread the word. Uh, this is something that we do to everyone here at the credit union, uh, whether you're a member or not. Uh, the United States Senate Federal Credit Union, it's here for you. Um, and with that being said, you know, let's uh, uh, let's dive in and take a look really quick at the agenda for today. So as I stated, <clears throat> we're going to dive into um, uh, in details uh, at the uh, at the items that we're going to talk about today. So first, uh, we're going to explore some of these some of those common holiday scams with real examples to help you recognize them uh, from phishing emails to gift cards, uh, gift card fraud. Uh, you, you're gonna. We hope that you're gonna gain insight into uh, uh, some of the tactics that they, these criminals are using. Um, next, we're gonna focus into uh, you know what you can do to stay safe, practical tips and tools to protect your personal and financial information while you are shopping online. And finally, we're gonna wrap it up with the resources to, uh, for reporting suspicious activity, so you know where to turn if you encounter a scam or if you need assistance. So. The hope is that by the end of the session, you're going to feel confident in your ability to shop securely and protect yourself during the holiday season. So that is the goal for, for us this evening. Um, and again, as I stated, the holiday season is a prime time for scammers to target unsuspected um, shoppers. And, uh, and and this is what you know, we want to cover some of the most common scams that you're going you're gonna to need to watch out for. So be very, very careful. Be Always be vigilant. Uh, the first one that you see here in, on the screen, it's going to be the social media uh, shopping scam. You know, this is in essence, this is where the criminal, uh, a, they're going to run the ads or um, uh, uh uh, to get you to get you to click on some of those deals that are that they're you know pro uh, promising to you uh, with the intention that you're gonna click on their on those links that they they they, they are running um, and so you know you gotta be very very careful. Um, also, we're gonna talk about uh, spoof um, uh, websites designed to look legitimate, like the ones you are familiar with, but. Um, they are not. Uh, they are made with the intention to steal your personal or payment information. So you need to be very, very careful. Also, the uh, phishing emails. You know, this is this is a trick. Um, uh, they they want you to get into uh, uh to to either click or download um uh, a malware so that they can uh, so that they can uh, start you know diving into your your sensitive information. Uh, so again, you got to be very careful. Uh, and the last one that we have here is going to be the gift card scam. Uh, and this is where the criminal is going to, you know, drain or misuse the funds before you or the recipient can enjoy the gift. This is something that, uh, that we see a lot, a lot during the holiday season. So be very careful. And um, and we're also going to cover other, other scams like the fake delivery notification. I know this is very popular nowadays. Uh, the fake order receipts, the nation scams and fake fraud alerts, uh, all of which, again, are designed to uh, to exploit the holiday rush and your trust. That is the thing. That's what the criminals are preying on. So, again, you got you to gotta be very, very careful. Um, as we go through uh, each one of these uh, um, common holiday scams, I'm going to share some of my examples and practical tips to help you recognize and avoid the different tactics. So, again, uh, you know, we always tell everyone, you know, sometimes if you see a deal that is too good to be true, it probably is. So, you know, be careful. And with that being said, let's start with the first type of scam, which is the social media shopping scam. This one, I'm sure you've seen ads if you are on Facebook, if you're on Instagram or any any of the social media platforms. Um, most likely, if you're scrolling down, down. Uh, you're gonna see ads that are that are have a lot of you know great offers you know that 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 you're like you know is make you is gonna make you want to stop especially during this time of year we all know we all know Black Friday is around the corner, um, and um and 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 you're gonna you know you're gonna come across an ad that looks very familiar with a, a particular brand I and mean, if you take a look at, at this example that we have here, uh, this is the North Face I'm I'm pretty sure everyone knows their logo. Um, and and they're they're claiming to um, uh, to have an eighty percent off for Black Friday deals, and again, if you look at it at first glance, 
you know, this looks legitimate. But you know what? It is not. It's, it is a scam. This is a fake uh, fake pa uh, fan page that, is, that they're using the North Face online. Um, so again, the goal for the criminal is to get you to click on the ad that is going to take you to a, a fraudulent website uh, that is impersonating the real North Face site. So again, scammers uh, scammers use this fake ads to uh, uh, to get you to uh, you know click onto their links that they're providing, so that they can uh, uh, they can go ahead and steal your credit card details uh, or in some cases even your personal information. So again, you gotta be very careful because oftentimes you know these sites are counterfeit. So you gotta be very very careful. So you ask yourself, so how do I protect myself, you know, from uh, becoming a victim of this? Because again, um, I myself, uh, I, I do use social media from time to time. I mean, I do have two two little ones at home. And so whenever I get a little downtime, I, I do go on my social media and I, and I, and I like to see, you know, what, what, what my friends are doing and whatnot. And I mean, nowadays, again, you know, you are going to run into different ads, and uh, and and especially again, if you are in the market, if you if you if you are planning on on buying your 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 gifts online, um, you know, seeing an ad with a great offer, you know, it's gonna get it's gonna get your attention. So you gotta be very very careful. So, um, you know, we want to let you know that so what are some of the ways to how you can protect yourself. So the first one that you want to do is to always 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 verify the retailer's official website and social media accounts before you make any purchases. Um, also, you wanna look out for red flags like poorly designed ads, typos, or uh, initial, uh, I mean, if those, those, those discounts are initially high, they're, they're too steep, you know, that might be a, a clear sign that, you know, maybe, you know, this is not legit. Um, also, if you do happen to uh, click on 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 their ads, make sure that you, you are you, that you are using trusted payment methods such as a credit card, uh, which in many cases is going to have the, the the fraud protection. So make sure that that you are you know if, if you fall for it, um, at least you're using a credit card and uh, and then you can rely that you know the credit card has a strong uh, fraud protection that, that that's going to have your back. So that is something that uh, that again you know you want to keep in mind. But, but but again, you know, using this example that we have here for you, the North Face, the logo, um, it's got the registered trademark in there, as you can see. But if you look on 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 top of, on, on who's running this ad, you know, it, it's 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 definitely not the North Face. I mean, it, it, it literally they have a similar name um, that is trying to get you to you know become a victim again. So you gotta be very 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 careful so um and i know i know it's i'm probably gonna sound like a broken record here but uh, but again you do need to be very very careful verify with the retailer most retailers nowadays they do have social media pages so make sure that you go into their social media page and see um if in fact they are running this special uh but i can tell you right now i mean i i do shop at north face from time to time and i have yet to see them running a uh, promotion where they have up to eighty percent off, so that is uh, that are that that right there, that alone, it's a it's a big 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 uh, red flag. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the next uh, example here for the scams that you're probably going to run into, um, and this is going to be the uh, spoof uh, websites. You know, again, this is a, a common trap. That uh, that the criminals are using during Black Friday, um, and throughout the whole throughout the entire holiday season, to be honest. So what they do again is that they copycat the websites often, you know, to mimic popular brands, like the one that you see here, which is Amazon. Uh, at first glance, you know, the site looks legitimate. It even has a HTTPS connection to it. If you look on the uh, on the URL, which typically, you know, that's going to indicate that the website is secure. Uh, but if you look closely at that domain name, you know, you're going to notice there's something that's off. There's an X at the end of Amazon. So that alone right there is going to be your first red flag that you know that, you know, probably this is not this is not the uh, official Amazon website. I mean, it might look very, very similar. Everything looks, you know, like what you normally see when whenever you want to log in into into the into the website. But if you look closely, 
um, you know, there's always gonna it's gonna be one one item and their in their uh in the pages that they're, they're running that is gonna it's gonna be something to look for. So that's what we call obviously you know the uh, the red flags. So, uh, but uh, but but just so you know, you know the 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 idea behind this is to steal your personal and financial information. That's what the criminal wants to do. Um, they um, and you're gonna see that you know they they're gonna promote their websites you know through uh, phishing emails to text uh, text messages social media digital ads um, and often again as as we we spoke before in the, in the previous uh, previous example that we gave you uh, they're gonna they're gonna run ads you know uh, where they actually are offering uh, amazing deals that you know they 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 just want the clickbait right they they want you to click on that on the ad that they're running so. Again, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be very careful. But uh, uh, we, the the tools that we, the tips I'm sorry that we recommend on how you can spot uh, and avoid fake websites. You know, the first thing is again is to inspect the URL. Um, look for any misspellings. Look for e extra characters or suspicious attempts to mimic trusted uh, trusted brands. Um, Check for the uh, connection security. You know, uh, if you, um, uh, I'm pretty sure if you, if you're, if you're familiar with browsing on the web, oftentimes, you know, there, there's going to be the padlock icon on the address bar to verify that the site uh, has the uh, uh, what we call the SSL certificate, which is a, for the security. Uh, while the HTTPS is a good sign, it doesn't always guarantee that it's legitimate. So again, you know, look for those um, design flaws, you know, those poorly designed sites. Sometimes they even have grammar errors or excessive requests for personal information like your social security number. Um, you know, that is something that, again, is going to be a red flag that you need to look for. Uh, also, ask yourself, you know, a simple question. You know, if you see an ad, um, an example that I'll use here, you know, if you see somebody's running an ad for a 75-inch TV that is selling for 100 bucks. Do you think that that is that is legitimate? You know, is is it is it really? Again, it goes back to what I said at the beginning. You know, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So again, be very very careful. Another thing that you also want to keep in mind, keep an uh, keep an eye out uh, when you are browsing uh, uh, the web and you come across into a website that looks very 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 similar to the legitimate one, is that when you get to the payment method. Um, there's one thing for sure that legitimate retailers, they will never ask you to pay with a bank wire or gift card. So if you see that, if you if that is one of the payment methods on how you can make a purchase uh, on the website that you're in, you know, that again, please stop, close that page and just, you know, don't go back to it. Uh, because again, that is one big red flag that you are, that you know that you, this is not it. This is not legit. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, something else that you do want to keep in mind, uh, and obviously keep, keep an eye is that, you know, they're going to try to trick you to, uh, to, to, to get your credentials. So they're going to, they're going to have, uh, a place where you can sign in, uh, again, if go back, going back to the example that we have here on this, uh, for this particular Amazon login, um, they can create the, the you know, the spoof website where, you, where they go, where they're going to ask you to. Uh, put in your credentials so that you can log in. And once you do, it might take you to the real website. It might take you to the real Amazon website. But guess what? Um, by the time you've done that, they have already stolen your identity, which means that if you have, like, if you're like most people, uh, which I still don't recommend, but I know it makes it a lot easier. But if you save your store payment, like if you have your payment store, uh, payment method store into your Amazon uh, account, um, as long as they have your credentials, they can go in and they can go on a shopping spree. So you got to be very, very careful, um, you know, with 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 clicking into into websites. If you see an ad and then you click in it and it takes you to a website and the website looks very, very legitimate. Um, you know, you gotta be very careful, you know, like hit the brakes, stop, analyze, um, and, and just, you know, just take, take an extra second, uh, extra minute, uh, to verify that in fact, this is something that, you know, that is legit. 
Um, another thing that, that that I always say, you know, if you do see, especially for Amazon, if you see that the, the deal that they're running uh, that you're seeing on 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 an ad or 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 you get a text message or whatever the case, however you, however it comes across to you, um, is to go into the uh, the 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 SATA, uh, you know, um, uh, go into the app. I mean, I know nowadays most people for especially for Amazon and and again uh, this is it's the same case if you use Best Buy if you use any of the, any of those uh, giant uh, online retailers um, you know uh, it's I always recommend to go into open the app on your, yourself and look for that particular item that you see and that is on sale and search it on the app if it's in there then it is it, obviously that's going to be you know that, that means that it's legit but if it's not. That would be another uh, indication that that what you're seeing on your desktop or what you're seeing on your laptop or your iPod is probably it's not legit. So again, be very, 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 very careful because the criminals. This is the time. This is when they're they love uh, you know uh, setting traps, um, and they want you. They want to lure you into clicking in and in, 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 in the links that they're sending you. So you gotta be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. Um, this next one that we're going to see the different example here is going to be, um, what we had known for the longest. This is probably the oldest trick in the book, which is the phishing scams. Um, but believe it or not, it's still this, this scam is still one of the most successful, successful scams that the criminals are using. Uh, it's the longest one, but it's still very effective. And let me just, let me just put it like this. Um, a criminal might target a thousand people all at once. They might send a, a, a phishing email to a thousand people. If one person clicks in it, that's it. They met they met their quota. That's all they need. They're just looking for the one person to click and fall and become a victim of the trap that they sent you through your email using a phishing email. So again, you gotta be very very careful. Um, especially if those emails they look official, you know. Uh, again, especially now with the with artificial intelligence, with AI, um, criminals are getting more and more, uh, uh, you know, creative. They they're making things look more legit. So you gotta be very careful. You gotta look for um, the the address. Look on the address uh, address book and see who is sending me this email. It's is this an email that I recognize you know make sure that that again you know you are always always vigilant you always uh your guard is always it's always up never let it down um because the moment you do you might become a victim um and this particular example that we have here i mean um i know i'm sure we uh, i know at least kim and carrie probably andrea they, they love shopping at sephora i mean it's it's all about you know um the different uh products that they offer there my wife my son i mean she's also a big fan of it um, and especially, you know, whenever they, they send those emails with the special offers and, every, and whatnot, I mean, I'm sure that, they, you know, the, the ads of you clicking on them, it's pretty high. Uh, but before you do that, again, be careful. Um, in, you know, I know, especially nowadays, uh, most uh, email providers, they do have a lot of uh, safety and, um, uh, 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 measures that they take and, and they, they will filters, filter a lot of these bad emails. But Every now and then, you know, some of these bad emails will get through. They will they will slide through your uh, through your main inbox and not go to your to your junk or spam emails. Um, and and that again, you know, it's just a reminder that we always gotta be we gotta be careful. Um, and this particular email, if you noticed you know, on the on the on the right corner, uh, top right corner, there's a QR code. Um, you know, scammers are using this to give you, uh, to get you to click on them, uh, or uh, in essence, access you to malicious links. Um, and, uh, and and again, the, the goal is to, uh, to to get you to fall for, 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 for them, for the, for those links or the codes that they're sending. So you gotta be extremely careful. Um, so again, how do you protect yourself from this uh, famous and old trick, the oldest one? Um, and that is that always, 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 be wary of any unsolicited emails that you get. Even again, even if they appear appear to be from a trusted brand, uh, criminals can easily clone websites and design emails that look authentic. As I stated, especially with the help of a uh, of uh, artificial intelligence with AI. So if you spot even one red flag, such as an initial request for a payment or login credential, 
you need to stop and delete the email right away. Do not, do not entertain that email anymore. Just delete it. Um, and again, by staying cautious and verifying the legit legitimacy of the email before taking any action, you can avoid falling victim. So again, what, what, what we're saying is take an extra minute. One minute can save you so much headaches down the road. You, you'd be surprised, um, you know, how much, how much it takes to try to recover yourself from after you have become a victim of fraud. Um, it, it really, really becomes a lot. There's a lot of steps that you got to take. Um, but if, again, if you just take an extra minute, if you're always wary and you always, you know, keeping a, a taking a second look at everything that comes that is coming through um, through your emails, you know, it's gonna it's gonna go a long way. So this is what we, you know, this is what we recommend. Um, and so again, be very very careful. And as I stated, you know, this is what the criminals do. This they they send thousands and thousands of emails to so many people, and their goal is 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 to just to get one person. You know that's all that's all they need one person um so don't become the one person so you gotta be extremely careful with that being said let's talk let's talk about this next one here that uh for some reason you know it, it, it is becoming popular and it, especially during this time of year during the holiday season and that is the gift cards um gift cards are a prime target for fraud uh, a, a recent report from the from the FTC, from the Federal Trade Commission, revealed that uh, in the third quarter of last year, gift card fraud uh, resulted in fifty four point four million dollar in losses. Let me repeat the number again: fifty four point four million dollar in losses. With um, a number, a total number of uh, incidents reported uh, over 10,000, 11,743 to be more exact. Um, that, again, it's an insane number. And most important, the dollar figure, I mean, $54.4 million in losses that people became victims of gift card scams. So you need to be very careful, watch out. Um, and, and we're going to talk to take you through some of those uh, some of those most common ones that we're seeing. Uh, we know what the criminals are, criminals are doing with, with the gift cards. Uh, and as I say that, you know, it's the holiday season. You know, it's a, it's a popular time to purchase gift cards. You, if you don't know what to buy someone, what do you normally what is always your default option? Right. Let me go get a gift card. Uh, and, and again, uh, criminals, they know that and, and, and they they are getting very crafty, crafty. Um, and, 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 and in essence, you know, gift card fraud, it, it, it really becomes into two different categories if you, if you need to look at, at a different angle. Uh, one of them is, in essence, you know, you purchase a gift card that has already been tampered um, and it's already drained by the criminal. Or the second one, uh, you're tricked into giving a gift card to a criminal on their false pretense. So again, those are the two type of uh, uh, a ways on how a criminal is going to try to get you to become a victim of this gift card scam. So you got to be very careful. But with that being said, you know, these are the five most common gift cards that, that you need to watch out for. The first one is the, is the is going to be the stolen and replaced gift card. So again, this is when the criminal it's already has access to the gift card that you have. So they, they tamper with, with the physical card in stores often using devices to clone the car information. So once the car is activated, they obviously will go ahead and spend the balance before the recipient can. So, you know, you go buy a car today and then you wait until Christmas to give that car to, 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 to whoever you bought the car for. I mean, you're talking about more than a month. Uh, oftentimes, I know if you're like me, you probably uh, wait until the last minute. Well, hopefully you're not. Uh, if you're like Andrea, I, I, I hear that Eddie was saying that Andrea started her Christmas shopping already. So, um, but again, what I'm trying to say that is that more oftentimes, whenever we buy gift cards, if we don't give those gift cards right away. We normally there's normally a couple of days or a couple of weeks in between before you hand it hand the gift card to the other person. And in some cases, if the person that gets the card doesn't use the card until you know a month or or whenever they do later on. Um, you know, you will never know whether, whether or not this car is still good if the money is still in there. So, again, what we recommend is that uh, if you're going to a store and you're getting uh, picking up uh, a gift card from a retail store, 
check for signs if it's been tampered, such as if the sticker or the barcode is already it's crashed, uh, or if the packaging looks looks like it's it's been open. You know, put it away or give it to give it to the uh, store manager or someone. Uh, you know, avoid any cars that look suspicious. Do not do not do not get a car if if you if you see that the barcode has already been scratched. Uh, or if the packaging looks like it's it, 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 somebody tried to open it. So do not pick the car uh, because, again, um, the tools that the criminals are using nowadays, they they, they, they can really, really, you know, uh, make you feel like you're actually getting a car, which you are. But they have already stolen all the information from the gift card that you're, that you're picking up. And as soon as they you load money into it, Believe it or not, they're going to go ahead and go wild and max out the car. And by the time you give it to the person that you bought it for, it will be nothing in there. Uh, and, and unfortunately, with gift cards, uh, it's really hard to get the money back. So, again, be very careful. Uh, the other scam here that, 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 that we've seen uh, very frequent with the, uh, with the gift card scams is going to be the fake friend or family member. Um, this is where the criminal is going to impersonate a loan one in, in, in emergency situations, and they're requesting a gift card. Um, why, you may ask. Um, who knows? But you, you'd be surprised. A lot of people fall for this scam, um, especially, uh, as I stated at the beginning, you know, artificial intelligence is becoming a very popular tool that the criminals are using, especially with tools like voice cl uh, cloning, you know they they make uh, they make it seem like it is in fact somebody that you that you know. It might be a relative, it might be um, you know a coworker or a family member, and they are they are cloning their voice and they're making you fall for it. So again, um, what we recommend is that you always verify the request by reaching out to the person directly. So if you get a message or if you get a voice message, um, you know saying hey, you know this is your X Y and C. Uh, I'm in a pickle. I really need a gift card to get out of it. Can you, can you, do you mind get, get, giving me a card? Um, you know, again, stop, pick up the phone, call that particular person on their phone number that you have saved on your on your phone book, uh, on your uh, uh, contact list, and ask the question directly. You know, again, if the request is coming from a unknown number, you know, unlike, most likely that's going to be a scam. So be very, very, very careful. Um, the other one here that we want to talk about is going to be the online gift card, gift card scam. Um, this is for the resale or action sites that often, um, you know, are, are hosted by the criminals. Um, that in essence, they're selling gift cards at a discounted price. So, hmm, you ask yourself, really? I can go and get a gift card, a hundred dollar gift card, a Visa, uh, one hundred one hundred dollar Visa gift card. That is four hundred dollars for only half the price. Really, I'll save myself 50 bucks. Guess what? You're not saving yourself 50 bucks. You're actually losing 100 bucks. So you gotta be very careful. Again, similar to what we talked about in the previous example, where the, the, the criminals are are mimicking um, you know, legitimate websites, that's what they're doing with, with the online gift cards. They're making you believe that you're actually, you know, buying a, a gift card online um, on a trusted website. But in fact, it is not. It's just something that they, they you know, they created a, a fake, fake website uh, and you enter your payment information. They ran your car. Now you are short 100 bucks and the criminal has your information and also money that was taken from your account. So you got to be very careful. Always, always, always avoid discounted gift cards from um, unverified websites. Purchase the gift cards directly from the retailers. Um, you know, that's what we always recommend. If you need to purchase a gift card, um, get it directly from the retailer. It, it's, it's, I mean, I know it's, it, it might sound, you know, crazy, but it's not. I mean, it, it really, um, what is it going to do? Uh, you know, try it. Try for, for for you to try to save a, a, a you know 10 20 25 bucks or whatever the amount is is not worth it uh having your 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 your, your payment information stolen um it, it really it really is not it, that's not worth it so again be very very careful um the other one that we're going to talk about here the other the other popular scam with gift cards uh is the one that says hey you want a prize you know there was a contest and you are the lucky winner um, but before we send you your price, you gotta pay the taxes. 
And how do you pay for those taxes to cover it or, or, or any fees associated with the price you want? Then guess what? You need to go and get us a gift card so you can pay for the taxes or the fees that are associated with the price that you want. Um, yeah, again, be cautious of anyone requesting a payment via gift cards, especially if the situation feels off. If you never sign up for a contest, um, don't. Please, please, please don't become a victim of that. Um, and last but not least, uh, this is going to be another one that we see a, a lot, unfortunately, uh, which is the overpayment scam. This is, in essence, that happens if you um, if you list something on Craigslist, face, Facebook Market, or any of those platforms where you can actually sell things, and somehow somebody sends you a payment and they overpay for it. Um, you know, you 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 listed an item for 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 twenty five bucks, but here somebody came. They purchase your item, and instead of sending you twenty five bucks, they sent you two hundred and twenty five bucks, and you're like, "Oh wow, you made a mistake. You sent me an extra extra amount of money. Um, you know, how do I send this money back to you?" Then guess what? The criminal is gonna say they're gonna ask for you to go and buy a gift card and send the card information to them as a form of a uh, overpayment. Um, that right there is a big, red, big, big, big red flag. Um, it just goes and tells you that the person that you're dealing with, the person that bought your item online or whatever you listed it, um, it is a scammer and they sent you extra money with the intention that you're going to send the overpayment back to them. In some cases, they will even say, you know what, I sent you an extra an extra $200, um, keep 100 my mistake, because, because of my mistake, I want you to keep 100 and just send me $100 back. This is just an example. Um, and But in order for you to send it back to me, just put it in a, in a gift card. You'd be surprised how many people fall for this scam. It is insane the number of cases that we see when people fall victims of this. It, it truly is. Uh, because guess what happens? You probably will not notice it right away, but within a, within a week, maybe a month or two, the, the formal payment that they use was probably um, a card that they they got a hand off. They, they, they stole somebody's credit card information or even a bank, bank account information. And the person that was effective or originally notifies the bank, hey, listen, my car, my bank account got hacked, whatever the case is, they start the whole process, they start the whole, um, you know, the whole shenanigans of, of getting everything corrected. And what they will do is any transactions that went out as payments, they're going to go ahead and reverse those payments. So if somebody sends you a payment, um, you know, it sends you a check and you went to the bank and you deposited or you cash a check and all of a sudden you get a call from the bank saying, hey, um, you remember the check that you deposited with us or that payment that you received through ACH or however you got it? That payment was fraud and we need to send the money back. And guess what? You perhaps already used the money. If not, the money that you sent back to the criminal, that money is gone and you will not be able to get it back because not only um, did they did they do they do they did you did they ask you to send the money through a, uh, a gift card, which there's no way for them to track. Um and everything, you know, the criminal, it's gone. If you try to reach out to them, they will not respond back to any of the forms of communication that they use. So again, be very, very careful. It, it truly, truly is scary. It's insane. Um, you know, all the different tactics that the criminals are using. So be careful. And if you fall in the victim of the gift card scam, again, we need you need to report it right away uh, to the gift card company. While there's no guarantee of, of reimbursement, Reporting uh, is going to help prevent any future scams. So be very, very, very careful. Um, and again, I'm sorry if I'm getting too passionate, but it's just that you know I see so many, so many innocent people falling victims of this type of type of scams that we're that we're talking about here this evening. So um, it, it really boils my blood um, to see how many people lose a lot of money um, and for something that you know. Again, if it's too good to be true, it is. So be very careful. With that being said, let's talk about the notifications that you probably get into your email, to your text messages, 
that it's either coming from a USPS or UPS, FedEx, DHL, so many different uh, delivery uh, you know com uh, companies out there. Uh, and they're telling you that, hey, guess what? There is an issue with your package. We are not able to deliver it. Um, it's been returned back to our operations or it's on hold. Uh, you need to click on this link uh, and get it fixed. Get it, get, get you know, to get your information, uh, uh, you know, get everything together so you can actually have your package delivered. Again, as I as we've been talking about this whole evening, you know, this is the time where a lot of people go online. Uh, and if you're like me, as soon as I purchase something and I get an email confirmation and it gives me the tracking info, I go in and check on the tracking right away. Why? Don't ask me. It's just something that I do. I get I probably I probably get a little anxious. Uh, I just can't wait to receive the item that I purchase. And um and and if you you know you bought multiple items and then all of a sudden you get a text message or you get an email saying that there's there's an issue with your delivery, um then out of the excitement you're probably gonna click on it. Um, so again, we need you to hit the brakes hard um, and and just stop and ask yourself, is this legit? What we recommend is to go back to the original purchase that you made, reach out to the seller to, or the retailer uh, directly to them, and they will be able to let you know whether or not there's an issue with your delivery. And nine out of 10 is going to tell you everything is good in our end. Right. Please ignore or delete that notification that you received because it's just a criminal on the other side trying to get you to click on the link, perhaps ask you to enter your credentials or even pay for a fee that was not paid by the by the sender. So don't become a victim of this. It truly, 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 um, it's a fake deliver notification that they just want you to, one, either steal your information or your payment information. So be very very, very careful. This next one here, um, again, is the one that uh, I actually see this from time to time on my email, believe it or not, uh, but it's the fake order receipt. You get an email saying, um, hey, here's your shipping confirmation for an item that you bought. You know, uh, the, the, the example that we're using here is for an item that was $2,500. And it's it's got it's, it's telling you that uh that you know that, that they give you your confirmation number, uh perhaps some tracking info, and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't buy anything, I have not purchased anything, um and so oftentimes people out of uh, a scare, uh it, this catches you by surprise, you probably are gonna are gonna click on that on that link that they sent you, and go into it and 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 all of a sudden you know you're already in a, in, a, in a deep hole because they ask you to enter your information your credentials or whatever the case it might be but in essence it's just a fake um a fake order receipt something that uh that they 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 they, they, they the goal of this is to insert fear to yourself that perhaps somebody hacked into my account and then they went and bought something very expensive but I didn't do it uh, you know, how do I get this fixed? So again, um, you might even see a phone number there for you to reach them. Don't call the number. Do not respond back to those emails. Uh, if you do see something suspicious, again, we recommend go to your app. If it's whatever, whatever, whatever um, uh, uh, retailer that, that is asking, is telling you or sending you that, go, go, go in, log in into your account and see if there's anything that you see on your transaction history. Um, I see a lot. I mean, I know we're using an Amazon example here, but I also I have my I have my uh, just like a lot of people in pretty pretty short. Uh, I have PayPal, uh, and then with PayPal, I get a lot of invoices, oftentimes, or a lot of payment receipts. Um, and again, it's fake. Do not become a victim. Don't don't click on those emails. Don't 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 buy the bait. Um, because again, it's just someone trying to. Uh, make you fall for it. So be very, 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 very extremely careful. All right, going down the list. This one, ah, this one's another one that it's that it really gets me. Um, and if you see this picture here, you probably it's gonna probably gonna look familiar to you because this is the case that I was actually in the news a couple of years ago. Um, and in essence, it's the famous donation scam. Oh boy, this is just when people are paying because of the time of the year, right? It's the holiday season. Everyone, it's in in the goodwill spirits. 
and 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 they are creating you know all the different uh, uh, fundraisers. Uh, they want to raise money for a cause, or uh, I mean, if you all remember the the news of this of this particular picture that you see here, this was somebody that that pretended to be homeless, um, that needed help, and 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 people just started spreading this this particular person's story on social media. They raised so much money until somebody found out that it was fake. Um, in fact, these people were. They, I mean, they were they were they weren't homeless. Um, they were actually, you know, somewhat okay financially, but they just created this this fake uh, fundraiser and raised so much money until somebody did a little digging and they were like, "Wait a minute, no, this is th this is a scam," and it was. So you gotta be very careful. Always keep an eye out for those. Um, so, what are some of the ways to uh, to protect yourself? Verify, verify, you know, if it's a nonprofit that is doing this, verify with a nonprofit, go into their website for the nonprofit and check and see um, and, and see if it is. If it's a person asking for help, you know, again, if you're if you're looking at it, 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 it I mean, most likely you're somehow connected to the person or, you know, somebody that is. Uh, and if you don't know the person directly, you know, reach out to someone that might know them and ask him if, in fact, is this person really going through a struggle? Are they ra legitimately raising money for a good cause? So you got to, you know, again, do your homework, do, do do your due diligence. You know, their goal for them, again, is to get you because you're in the, in the holiday spirit. You want to get back um, and, you know, make make you feel good that you did a good deed. But in fact, you know, the money that you're given is not going to a good cause. So, again, be very, very careful. Also, avoid any unsolicited requests. Again, be cautious. Donate uh, do donation appeals from non phone phone numbers, text messages, or emails. Um, you know that is something that if you don't recognize them, why are you getting those those requests to uh for a fundraiser? You know, be very, very careful. And again, as we always stated, uh, you know, like to say, you know, make sure you recognize the red flags. Um. If somebody is, is, has a fundraiser and they're asking you to send their, your donation via a wire transfer, a gift card, or cryptocurrency, hmm, again, that is not a normal way of how you, you like to raise funds, right? And the, why are they doing that is because normally during uh, using those three types of methods that, that I stated, the wire transfer or the gift cards or cryptocurrency, the way of them, um, you know, the way to... Uh, it is really hard for 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 uh for the financial institution to try try to track that information. So that's the reason why they want you to do donate using those uh, different uh, methods. So again, um, if you do want to donate again, donate safely. Um, we always recommend that if, if you're if you're looking to make another donation, or go straight into the the, the website. Uh, uh, go go directly to their website for the nonprofit that is raising funds. Um, and use trusted methods such as credit cards. So again, as I stated at the beginning of the early presentation, uh, at the beginning of the presentation, I'm sorry, uh, you know, oftentimes credit cards will have the uh, the, uh, the the protection for fraud. So you are you know you are protected 100. If if for some reason you become a victim of fraud uh, and you use your credit card, uh, you know most major retail most major uh, credit cards will have your back. So again. Um, be very, very careful. And last but not least, we want to talk about uh, these uh, this famous fake fraud alerts. Man, this is also another one that is becoming very popular. Um, and I even know that sometimes we even get members that uh, that reach out to us saying, hey, did you guys send me a text uh, asking me for my social security number? Like, mm, wait, no, we, did, we don't. We didn't do that. So, Let's talk about those fake fraud alerts. Um, again, this is a scam. The criminals are trying to, uh, you know, trying to get you to uh, provide your financial uh, institution information, your credentials, perhaps your online banking. Uh, the example that you see here, this is claiming to be from a credit union, warning the recipient that uh, there is a security issue and is urging them to verify the account by clicking on the link. That is the first red flag. So again, at a first uh, glance, you know, it, it seems legitimate, um, but the scams again are designed to steal your money or your personal information. So you gotta be very, very careful. Um, 
And again, how the way how this works, again, it's, you know, you get a text message uh, pretending to be from a uh, financial institution or from, uh, you know, it can be also a retail store. Um, and they, they, they want you to click on the link. So what to do if you ever receive any of these text messages, letting you know that it's from your financial institution. The first thing that we recommend, and actually before I get into the recommendation, but the first thing to know is that banks and credit unions will never, ever, ever ask you to use, um, ask you to provide your social security number via text message or emails. That is one thing that you gotta keep in mind. Um, we will never also ask you to use a money transfer service to stop fraud. If there's fraud in your account and they tell you that you have to pay a fee to stop the fraud, huh, really? If it's already fraud, then why do I need to pay more? There's probably money already taken out of my account if this fraud is legitimate. So why do I need to send you a payment using a wire transfer or a gift card? Uh, again, you know, be very careful and know that banks or credit unions will never ask you to do that. Also, they will never request your PIN or account numbers or social security, like I stated. We will never do that. Um, and just be, again, be very, very careful whenever you get all, all of those un unsolicited messages. You know, never click on the links or call the numbers that are sent in the text message that you received. If you see that there's a financial institution that you belong to, our recommendation is to go directly to the phone number that you've used in the past or go into the website and use the number um, uh, and use the number to um, uh, to to reach reach out to the uh, to reach out to the uh, financial institution. Do not call the number that you have that they send you in the text message that you receive as an alert. So again, be very very careful. And again, some of those red flags that you want to you know keep an eye out is obviously you know uh, scammers often they they're going to use aggressive and urgent language to pressure you into acting quickly. So what you got to do is stay calm, take time to verify the situation. Be aware that scammers uh, can spoof legitimate phone numbers also. So even if if you're getting a call uh, that is saying that is from uh, from from us, I'll use our, ourselves as an example. Um, hang up and call back using the number that you have on your contact information. So do not provide any information if you receive a phone call and and it's, it's stating that it's calling it's, it's it's your credit union is calling you. Do not give any information. Hang up and call them right back. Um, using the number that you tr that you trust. So again, these are the uh, the uh, the the uh, the most common ones uh, uh, scams you got. You want to keep an eye out. Um, and we are coming here towards the end of the presentation. But before we do that, uh, as always, we do want to provide you some tips um, on uh, you know what you know on what to do uh, and and how you can protect yourself with, for, uh, against some of these most common scams that you're most likely going to see during the holiday season. So let's uh, let's take a look into the uh, uh, proactive steps that you can take to protect yourself. So again, this is important. Check your settings before uh, making in any purchase online. It is essential to ensure that the devices that you're using uh, uh, to shop for, uh, that you're using to shop, I'm sorry, uh, that they are up to date with all the uh, uh, updates. Um, you know, you, you might be surprised, but oftentimes the... Uh, uh, the phones that you have, they will run updates overnight. So make sure that, that you do have that setting on, um, and, and and make sure that uh, that if you are uh, that you are um, uh, keeping up with all those all of those updates. We also recommend that you always change your passwords. Your password should not be the same for all of your different uh, uh, accounts that you have. Make sure that that they're different, and also we also recommend that you change them at least every ninety days. Uh, so make sure that you do that. And again, uh, update your software. Make sure that you are changing, uh, enabling automatic updates on your computers, on your on your laptops. Um, make sure that you are enabling that. And avoid shopping or logging into uh, accounts when you are in the public. So if you are using a public Wi-Fi, make sure that um, that that you are not putting your credentials in. Um, and if you must use public Wi-Fi, um, we do recommend that you that you consider using a, a, a virtual private network or VPN um, to help you uh, make sure that your connection is secure. Um, and let's take a look at uh, more tips here as well. The um, 
Uh, again, we always recommend that you stick to trusted retailers, interact with reputable vendors, uh, verify the business legitimacy, make sure that uh, the information is encrypted. So when you go to those websites, make sure that you see the little lock next, next to the URL. Um, and again, check for the website's private, privacy policy. Um, legitimate business uh, clearly state how they handle your personal information. So if a site lacks privacy policy or it seems vague, um, that's going to be a red flag that you need to watch out for. Um, also, how you can protect yourself from the payments, as I stated, um, use your credit card instead of debits. Again, credit cards is going to give you a better fraud protection, and it is easier to dispute in case of unauthorized charges. And also know that your debit card is connected directly to your checking account. So if the criminal gets a hold of it and they start, they can start on, um, going on a shopping spree, uh, it is really hard to, 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 to get your money back versus having, um, you know, using yourself a credit card. So we do recommend um, that you use a credit card. It, it's it's going to provide you a much better protection. Um, also, use digital wallets like Apple Pay or Google Pay when, when, when you're shopping. Again, these services use advanced encryption, keeping your personal and payment information secure, uh, whether you're shopping online or in stores. Uh, check transaction history often. We do recommend this all the time. So make sure that you're looking at your transaction history at least once a week. Um, if you are, you know, if you are going to physical stores, make sure that you're looking out for skimmers. Skimmers are devices that criminals use to install into payment terminals or uh, ATMs or even at the gas station. Uh, and what they do with those skimmers is they they steal your your car information. And the moment you you insert your car into that that device, they will go ahead and steal all your information from your car. So make sure that you are keeping an eye if you see anything any foreign devices that that are in a payment terminal, make sure that you let uh, that store know um, or report it right away. Make sure that, you know, that, that you uh, that you do a good deed so that if you caught it, uh, don't just walk away, let, let someone know. Um, and also set up uh, account and transaction alerts. This is something that we highly recommend to enable notifications for purchases and account activity, especially here at the United States Center for Credit Union, we do recommend that you take advantage of all the features that we have in our online banking or at my USSFCU, uh, that, um, that org. So make sure you take advantage of all the alerts that you can uh, you can set up. And again, finally, you know, you gotta be cautious. Always question the deals that, you know, if they seem too good to be true, request for personal information for unsolicited emails, calls, or messages. Um, if you're ever contacted by someone claiming to be from your financial institution, don't provide any information. Instead, reach out to your bank or credit union directly to confirm. Now, a little bit of a quick overview on our, uh, our online banking portal. Here, again, some of the things that you can do that we highly recommend. Um, the one that the features that I love every feature here that you see here, the first one, the car control. You can turn your car on and off, send, set spending limits. If you if your car is lost or stolen, you can go ahead and completely shut it off, uh, and request for a new car to be uh to be replaced to be sent back to you. Uh, or if for some reason you find that car, then guess what? You can go ahead and turn the turn the car back on. Uh, as I stated before, set up alerts and restrictions. You can set up uh, alerts if you um, if you want to if you want to receive an alert for every time you spend more than fifty dollars, a hundred, depending on the dollar amount. You can do that, um, and also receive alerts via your preferred method. So whether it's a text message or an email, make sure that you do that. Um, if, to get more information about this, just go to our uh, website uh, ussfcu.org and forward slash manage my car. So highly, highly. Uh, recommend that um, that you do that. And um, lastly, you know, with uh, with everything that we talked about, uh, the best prevention measures uh, that, that you want to implement um, in in the event that you know you, you do become a victim of of a of a scam, it is important to know you know what steps to take if, if that's if that's something that that you you fall in a victim for or of. Um, so. We do have some great uh, tools here that we want to share with you, um, and that is, you know, what to do if you if you're scammed. So again, the first thing that we recommend is that you report the fraud right away. Keep records of all the communication. So if you're talking to, um, um, if it's a credit union, if it's a bank or a retailer, you know, make sure that you reach out to them and report the fraud. 
and keep track of everyone that you're talking to. Write the names, uh, the times that you call. Uh, keep track of everything. Also, we do recommend that you secure your accounts. Um, you know, set set an alert on your account so that that, that everyone knows that that you know that you that you become a victim of a scam. Um, and last but not least, freeze your credits. I always talk about this. I feel like every time I come on, come on and do a presentation, I always talk about freezing your credit. Um, but again, it's a no brainer. Uh, having your credit freeze uh, is going to give you the peace of mind that nobody's going to be able to get into and open accounts under your name because your credit is frozen. And especially if you've been scammed, um, you can set, on, set a credit alert in the event. If for some reason uh, your credit is not frozen, um, the uh, the lender, whoever is 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 uh, it's uh, verifying your application. They will have to contact you to verify and ask you security questions before they can proceed with with any loans um, that they are requesting under your name. So be very very careful on that. Um, and again, if you suspect of any uh, suspicious activity on your uh, United States Center for Credit Union accounts, it is critical that you act quickly. So you have several options to report and address potential fraud. Um, the first one is that you can contact our member service directly at 1-800-374-2758. Again, the number is 1-800-374-2758, and our team is here to assist you with any concern or questions. Uh, if you prefer, a secure and convenient way to communicate uh, is through your online banking, whether it's through the uh, uh, mobile banking or just online. Uh, you can send us a secure message. Let us know what. Let us know what's going on. Uh, we also encourage you to uh, keep track of your accounts again often, um, daily if you can, or no, no, no more than a week. Don't be one of those people that waits that waits until uh, until the the end of the month to receive your statement to look and see all your transactions. The sooner you you catch something, the easier it will be for you to get everything back in order. So highly, highly recommend. Um, that you um, that you take advantage of the resources that we have here at the credit union, and especially the number that you see there. Um, it's 24-7. Please, if you suspect of anything, give us a call. Uh, and lastly, you know, check our website, ussfcu.org, for any fraud notifications. So keep an eye on that. Um, before we let you go, uh, I do want to did wanted to share this uh, important website. It's the IC3, uh, the Internet Crime Complaint. Um, this is a uh, ex it is, it's an external resource that is available to help you stay informed and take action if needed. Uh, the Internet Crime Complaint Center again it's a uh, it's a central hub for reporting any cyber crime. It is run by the uh, uh, by the FBI uh, and it serves again as a critical resource for addressing any online threat. So if you believe if you believe you've been a victim of an of an internet, internet crime, I'm sorry, um, this is the place where you wanna you wanna go ahead and file the complaint and help the FBI and its partners to bring the cyber, cyber criminals to justice. The website, again, ic3.gov. Uh, this is where you are, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, uh, uh, you're gonna find a lot of uh, uh, helpful information. Um, they also have tools on how you can protect yourself, your family and your community for, uh, from online crimes. So if you need to report any internet crime or learn about protecting your uh, digital presence, IC3 is an excellent resource that you can rely on. Um, also, the uh, FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, um, they have a consumer advice site located at the uh, consumer.ftc.gov. This is a platform that uh, uh, is a treasure trove of information on protecting yourself from scams, managing identity theft, and even handling unwanted calls or texts or even emails. So if you've been scammed or suspect fraudulent activity, uh, this site is going to offer you a step-by-step -step guidance on what to do next. You can also report fraud or identity theft directly through this page. So this is, again, it's connected to the FTC and it's going to help you, it's going to help the FTC combat uh, widespread scams. So in addition to reporting, this site also has a lot of educational articles, consumer alerts, and tools like uh, access to your credit report for free, and empowering you to stay informed and proactive. And last but not least um, is the identitytheft.gov. Again, this is another vital resource provided by the FTC, by the Federal Trade Commission, to help you report identity theft. So if you, um, this in essence is gonna walk you step-by-step step on how to get your identity back. 
So if you suspect your identity has been stolen, uh, this website simplifies the process of getting back, uh, getting you back on track. Um, and you start by telling them what happened. Based on the details that you provide, you will receive a customized recovery plan tailored to your situation. So every situation is unique. So you got to make sure that you explain and tell them everything that's going on with, with you. Um, the site then um, is going to help you put your plan into action with easy to follow steps and resources. So again, identitytheft.gov uh, also provide tools to uh, update your recovery plan as needed, ensuring that you stay on top of all the situation, whether it's disputing fraudulent uh, charges or placing a fraud alert on your credit. Uh, this platform is designed to guide you every step of the way. And with that being said, I just want to take this moment to wish everyone a happy holiday season. Uh, we hope the tips and the resources shared uh, here are, are going to help you navigate the holidays um, and give you the confidence that you need um, so that you can, you know, make this holiday season enjoyable. So we'd love to hear from you now. So if you have any questions about the topic that we talked about, uh, they, if there are any questions, uh, we want to take this time to... Uh, uh, to answer your question. So thank you all so much. Um, panel team, do we have any questions? Yes. So our first question is, how do you detect a scammer or scammers? You want me to take it? I'll be glad to. All right. So ATM skimmers, if you have any doubt whatsoever, you're going to want to make sure that where you insert your card does not move. It should not move. So check it. You can tug on it. Um, you can, you know, wiggle it. See if it moves. If it moves, you do not want to insert your card. Thank you so much, Kim. Actually, I think that was our only question, unless I'm missing one. Eddie, do you see one? I do see one more. Uh, somebody directly messaged me. And I know K, uh, Milton, thank you very much for all the great information you share, uh, especially nowadays with the holiday season. Sometimes, you know, we get um, in the mood to, you know, shop, shop, shop. But we still got to do our due diligence to make sure that we're not getting scammed. I know that Mr. Lucas in the comments was sharing that he tried to buy two items from like Facebook ads. And unfortunately, those items were, you know, scammed, so he never got it, but he was able to be in control of, you know, his finances. But it's one of those things that, you know, and if you have, if you have mentioned this before in other presentations, Milton, is that if it looks too good, you it might not be true, you know. So, you know, go with your gut feeling. If something looks a little off, just make sure that, you know, you call not the number that you see in front of you, but rather go to Google, go to the actual website and see if they have an alternative 1-800 number. And then you can confirm if the, you know, whatever they're offering you is legitimate or not. Uh, but based on you were talking about uh, turning off your car, somebody was asking, uh, you know, in the anonymous questions, uh, is there a limit for you to have your uh, car turned off? Uh, does it deactivate after, let's say, 48 hours that you have it off? How does that work uh, particularly? That's an excellent question, Eddie. Uh, and and with car control, you can actually have the car off as long as you want. There's no there's no time limits. There's no time frame. Um, you know, again, it, the goal the goal for the purpose of that that particular uh, tool um, is so that you can protect yourself. So if you're not using your car, it's kind of like what we talk about having your credit frozen, right? Um, if you know that you're not going to use your credit, or if you know that you're not going to use your um, your car, why have it on? Uh, you know, again, it just it just sets you, um, uh, sets, just gives uh, gives the criminal uh, an easy access on how they can, you know, easily get into your personal information. So, or, or in this case, get into your account by uh, using your account. So, be very careful. And as you can see here at the United States Center for the Credit Union, we have many tools that you, as the member, can use to stay safe. Uh, we have the turning off your car. You can put, uh, you know, limit on your transactions, get an alert when it's over a certain amount of money. So please make sure that you use all of those tools to be safe in this holiday season. As the message says, happy holidays, wishing a happy, healthy and safe holiday season. 
Uh, with that being said, uh, we want to remind everybody uh, that uh, next week we won't have an, a webinar. We're going to take a break because I know that everybody's into the Thanksgiving mode. Everybody's going to be cooking like Andrea. She said that she's already meal prepping. I'm going to be preparing my stomach because I'm the eater. Somebody else is going to cook. And then I know everybody's just going to be with the families and having a great time. So uh, we're going to come back December 4th, if I'm not mistaken, which is the first Wednesday on December. So uh, that's when we're going to, you know, resume with our weekly Wednesday webinars. And, you know, it's a countdown. Season two is coming to an end. Uh, be prepared for season three because we're not going away, but we're going to have different interactions, different surprises, different presenters, and more panelists, members as well. So with that being said, uh, I don't know if anybody else wants to do the closing remarks, but I just wanted to say happy holidays. We are so thankful for you for being in these webinars because without you all, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, we're blessed to have your presence and thank you very much for everything. Happy holidays. And I don't know if anybody else wants to say anything else. Yeah, no, I just, I just wanted to say that we are thankful that you are our members. Uh, we're thankful for, for you know, being with us uh, every every Wednesday. We, we do see some uh, members that come in every, 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 every week. So again, we are thankful for you. We're thankful for your membership. Um, and we hope that this information, again, as I've stated, it's, it's helpful to you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that is what we are thankful for here at the United States Center Federal Credit Union. Uh, and as Eddie alluded to, we'll uh, take a break next week, but we're going to be back here on December 4th um, for the last month of the year. Uh, and it is uh, spread joy and save money. I know today was chopped with confidence, but next, uh, the, the the week, uh, the, the December 4th webinar, um, we want to talk about, you know, how you can make a happy and financially healthy season. Um, hopefully, you won't go broke. Um, that is the goal. Uh, that is the plan for, for the webinar in December. So again, um, thank you all. Have a wonderful uh, holiday next week. And we look forward to have you uh, seeing you back again on December 4th. Have a wonderful evening.